So, what is electronic discovery anyway, e-discovery? Basically, it's finding the information that people now store, uh, which means finding the information in computers, because people now store most of their information inside computers and not in paper filing cabinets. So, e-discovery is the same as discovery, except it's just focused on the problem that in the past 30 years, all of our information has transformed from paper into digital or electronic. The reason that uh, we're even having a discussion about e-discovery as opposed to discovery is that this transition from paper to digital has resulted in some totally new problems and challenges that most lawyers have not had any training or background or experience to allow them to deal with in an efficient manner and in a manner which will get at uh, sufficient information in order for their clients to be able to resolve their dispute or basically find the information they need to either prosecute a claim against uh, another party or defend a claim against them or perhaps just to uh, proceed with an internal investigation to find out what happened in connection with some event or to respond to an external investigation such as a subpoena from the government. All of these things, all of these attempts to get at information require lawyers to have computer expertise require lawyers to know the filing systems of today, which are not simple alphabetical um, systems involving paper and filing cabinets. No, far from it. Uh, I remember those old days with some fondness. Then it was basically easy. Now it's very complicated. Uh, there's no simple alphabetical index, and there's no simple filing cabinet, one place central repository that you can go to to find information. Um, Maybe some companies have it that well organized, but in my experience, most don't. So instead, you have to search through a variety of electronic storage systems, be they network uh, servers, individual personal computers, laptops, um, in the clouds uh, on internet storage systems, in the iPhone or the Blackberry, uh, and the list goes on and on, CDs, DVDs, flash drives, um, it is just incredible the variety of different places where you can file information now. Or if you don't consciously file it, most people don't, it just sort of gets filed or stays around, hangs around, and sometimes can be difficult to get rid of. On the other hand, this digital information can sometimes be difficult to preserve too because our friends in the IT department have created systems designed to uh, automatically throw away information uh, even though we may have a legal duty to preserve it because of a lawsuit or a government investigation or we might otherwise want to get to it. Um, so this is a real challenge that has been created by the rapid technological evolution that we've all experienced in the last oh, 10, 20 years or so uh, and this acceleration of change is actually increasing so this problem is not going away, it's getting more and more uh, severe and more and more difficult and challenging to find the information we need, we lawyers need in the litigation process, which is why e-discovery has become a separate discipline, a discipline that partakes of the law, but also partakes of technologies and understanding computers, the digital world, and understanding the ever-changing technologies that we're all faced with and what that means to the problem of actually finding the information that we need. That's a basic intro to e-discovery and give you some explanation as to why there's now so much effort made in education to address this problem so that we lawyers can stay relevant and we can stay in touch with the facts, with the information that we need in order to apply the law in a just manner to uh, help society and fulfill